do not play the old Call of Duties. They are literally unsafe and unplayable. No matter what you're on from console to PC, your info and your system will be hacked. So do not trust these old Call of Duty games. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Slipper here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And in today's video, we're going to be playing Black Ops 3, but on the PC, but also on the shut down boy client i can't really talk much of how i got it there's videos up there from mike rage i'm pretty sure and other youtubers and we're here on black ops for you to talk about multiple things h2m being shut down which was the modern warfare 2 remaster that was built on modern warfare remastered for steam and talking about why activision does not want to work with the modded community and we're also going to be talking about why old call of duties even on console and pcs are unsafe and unplayable right now and why you guys should not be playing these old games and the first thing i want to talk about is h2m and the first thing i'm going to address is why people make these modded clients anyways if they're going to be shut down well it's because on on Steam for all these old Call of Duty games, they are unplayable. You cannot play them without potentially getting your PC hacked and all your information stolen on the PC from all your Google accounts, all your passwords, your IP, all that stuff. You could get viruses from them. A whole bunch of other things could happen to your PC and personal information that's on your PC if you're playing these old Call of Duty games on Steam. People are making modded clients like Boy, H2M, IW4X to make these pc games playable and safe to play and h2m would have done the same thing that board client was trying to do last year and that's why people are making all these modded clients let's go find a game real quickly though because there is still some players you know not a lot seven nine two like there's probably around like 30 40 people playing boy client right now but there's definitely a lot more on like plutonium which is black ops 2 modern warfare 3 world at war but h2m being shut down is super sad to see because with all the guidelines that activision has really given us because they i don't think they've actually talked about it at all but they've literally just sent cease and desist and that's really it not a lot of these like modded client people no not really anybody knows what the hell is good or bad to do all they know is that you have to like charge for the game that you're actually remastering or making a client for which h2m did they literally did what activision kind of shut down boy client for and uh sort of plutonium down for because they were giving free files of the game right they were giving the, the free copies of the game they're pirating the game with h2m they weren't really doing that they were making people buy the game in order to play the client even after a couple days now since h2m has been shut down activision hasn't really made a statement at all they literally just sent the cease and desist and have never talked about it activision is not identifying what the problem they have is everyone knows that like it's because they're manipulating the ip they're using activision's ip and they don't want people on these older call of duties which i don't really like i don't really understand i really don't understand because yes these older call of duties are good but they have their own flaws that you know make players don't want to play them and that's the main reason why i didn't buy h2m because i knew i didn't know but like i had a feeling that like okay it could get shut down and it could just be a waste of time of like you know making a video and hyping it up but like the hype was there the hype was real the people who said that oh h2m was not going to be played at all they're they're just completely dumb there are still real people playing all you know these clients from plutonium boy client there's still community there and there's a community of players that are not able to play these old call of duties because of the clients being shut down but yeah like the main reason why i didn't you know make a video on h2m was literally because of this exact reason and also i knew that i was going to put in more hours to the point where i wouldn't be able to get a refund by steam because i know myself because whenever it's a new call of duty that i was familiar with especially like modern warfare remastered i'm playing the shit out of it but moving on from the h2m situation man shout out to all the sore guys the people that were able to play it make videos on it merc music jev uh, woke and you know the developers of h2m like they tried man but it just sucks that like activision is doing this oh my god hold up line up the feed for the bots <laughs> but moving on let's talk about why you know you shouldn't be playing these old call of duty games man they are literally unsafe to play now on console as well before it was just pc where like it was just unsafe but now there are ways to get your console hacked if you're on these old Call of Duty games from console. And it's mainly the Call of Duties with theater mode. You could watch a random clip and then have your entire console or PC hacked within seconds, dude. You'll get viruses, you'll actually get mod menus and stuff. It's absolutely insane. Hey guys, it's Editing Limbo here. Real quickly, I wanna also say this. You can also have your console or PC hacked when a hacker joins your game 
in multiplayer and gives you the mod menu and he can steal all your information on that system so literally you getting hacked is up to one person and i think a lot of people do not know this at all and the reason why i'm speaking about this is because a lot of my old viewers have actually been telling me that they're going to play these old call of duties to just you know have fun because they're not having fun with Modern Warfare 3 right now and the thing is i don't want to have my viewers get hacked and have their information stolen or something crazy like that happens because it's already happened to multiple people but yeah these old games are not safe to play anymore and i don't know why activision or microsoft won't take care of it they have the power to they make millions of dollars every year you know new profit records and all that stuff every year i don't know why they don't take care of these old call of duties because these old call of duties are good they are good, but I don't think anyone who's playing these old Call of Duties will actually still, you know, not buy the new one or try out the new Call of Duty. I can't believe Activision was actually afraid of one of their older games being, like, you know, played more when it's highly unlikely, bro. These old games are not getting content updates, so eventually when someone, you know, maxes out or, like, does something that they've been trying to do, right, what, what else is it to do for them in the game? Nothing. So they're just going to go on to the new Call of Duty. It's just so sad to see so many people who are working for free and have their project and work just shut down completely from Activision, man. And the way that they did it, too, was so greedy, scummy, like, snakeish, bro. They literally made Modern Warfare Remastered on sale for, like, multiple days. And then the day before H2M was supposed to come out, they literally season assisted it, bro, and shut it down. But, man, dude, like, I don't know how... Activision doesn't put like a team on some of the more popular older games like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, right? I don't know why they don't put like a team that just not even adds content, but literally just fixes the shit that's broken. I don't know why they don't do that at all because man, people's information, people's consoles are getting hacked. And for most of these old Call of Duties, they're not on the newest like console at all. So what if a PS3, Xbox 360, or Xbox One, PS4 gets hacked? Not a lot of people are really selling these old consoles anymore. And they're very hard to find if they're not, like, tampered with already. It's just truly ridiculous that, you know, Activision would even do this. But, man, I feel bad for anyone that has gotten their information stolen or have been hacked from playing old Call of Duties, either on their console or PC, man. And the fact that nothing's getting done or it's, like, kind of being swept under the rug in a sense where like activision won't really fix it they're fixing the matchmaking and saying that these old games are fixed like yeah you fix one part congrats oh collat hold up oh being at the split quad feed like they're not even mentioning that these games are literally unsafe to play they are literally just you know saying like oh yeah we fixed the matchmaking and that's really it when there are ways to get hacked mod menus all that stuff man it's ridiculous dude and i really do hope that like something is fixed in the future because these old call of duty games deserve to be played they do deserve to be played man they are old good call of duty games man and plus even the ones that we hated when they were the main call of duty game, like infinite warfare advanced warfare black ops 3 multiplayer they are still people that want to play these games and give them a try when they are older and know more about you know the game and re-experience that experience that they had when they were younger and i'm not even saying that like i'm you're mad or anything i'm just simply disappointed that activision is not actually caring for the modding community and the community that still loves these old call of duty games like i feel like if people are still playing a game from 10 years ago 12 years ago 11 years ago 9 years ago 6 years ago that is a testament to how good that game was i honestly believe that activision is just shutting down these old clients because they are afraid that these old clients and games will take away the player base, the sales, and player count from the newer Call of Duties, which I totally understand. But I just wish that they actually added a small team that fixed and kept these games safe and playable. That's my only problem with them doing this, man. Because these old Call of Duty games that are actually good, that are actually memorable, that are actually loved by the community, old and new are just not able to be played because people's consoles and pcs can get hacked at any time at any point man but yeah i'm out of here i hope you guys enjoyed drop a like and subscribe if you guys did stay connected to all my social media down below and i'll see you guys next time peace